Hello everyone, my name is Zach Mueller, I'm using a green screen, and you're watching The Insider. JB said he wanted a more dynamic background with more depth, so I hope hope this works. We have quite a lot of topics, so we're going to jump right into them. The Jack decks have completely sold out, which is pretty ridiculous considering it's only been one week since we released them. If you got your hands on them, congratulations, because you now hold one of the rarest decks in the world. But not really, because, you know, on the Jack website you can still buy them, they're just $9 and, and lesser quality. But if you have our version, then they're still pretty rare. It was just announced on Tuesday that Dan White is going to be starring in a brand new Discovery Channel special called, what's it called? The, the Supernaturalist, which is not cheesy at all. This project has been in the works for a very long time, and I'm very happy to see that it's finally seeing the light of day. It's really interesting, and it's going to be premiering on June 25th. I think that's correct. It might not be, but I'm not going to check. It was just announced that Jesse Eisenberg and Jake Gyllenhaal are going to star in a brand new magic heist film which apparently is a category that I didn't know about. The film is called Now You See It, and it apparently pits a crack FBI squad and a game of cat and mouse against a super team of the world's greatest illusionists, who pull off a series of bank heists during their performances, showering their profits on their audiences while staying one step ahead of the law. If that's not the cheesiest description for a movie, I don't, I don't know what is. In all honesty though, I am pretty excited about this film. I really like Jesse Eisenberg and Jake Gyllenhaal, not because Jake Gyllenhaal is pretty much the sexiest man alive, but because they're pretty good actors. Also, that he's the sexiest man alive. Have I mentioned that I'm totally heterosexual? A couple weeks ago we posted a 3D cardistry video, which is pretty cool, only the 3D wasn't in full effect because our media section can't really handle that form of 3D. This video was also posted on YouTube recently, which as most of you know has much better 3D software than our media section does, so if you have an extra pair of 3D glasses, this video is for you. This is honestly really hurting my eyes. I don't think looking directly into a really powerful light with these glasses is a good idea. Roger Ebert just posted his review for Make Believe, which is actually a pretty good review. He really liked the film. Uh, if you don't know who Roger Ebert is, he's the guy who invented thumbs up and thumbs down. So, no big deal. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your question of the day. Last week I asked you all, what is your favorite show in Vegas? And here were your responses. Honestly, guys, I was a little disappointed with your responses this week. Um, not very many of them were funny or intelligent. I'm not mad at you guys, it's just that it just wasn't very good this week. And if it's going to continue, I, just, I might just cut it out of the show. There might be no more question of the day. So stop up your responses. Seriously. I'm totally kidding with you guys, but seriously, your responses this week were terrible. The one response that I thought was adequate for the show is by Paul the Illusionist who writes, My favorite show in Las Vegas is easily Terry Fader's puppeteer singing show because it exemplifies extreme talent and determination after a final breakthrough on America's Got Talent. This is not a stupid comment that provides a cliche or redundant joke, aka the Yolda. Finally, this is a complete comment that shows depth and grammatical perfection. I applaud you. Only I lived in England for two years, so I spell favorite with a U, so technically it's it's still still not grammatically correct. <laughs> I am such a jerk. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to say that tomorrow on Saturday I'm going to be filming a couple new secret projects with Justin Willman, the host of Cupcake Wars and Pretty Popular Magician. So if you have a question for Justin, post it down below, and if it is funny enough, interesting enough, and grammatically correct enough, which... I don't actually think that sentence was grammatically correct. Then your question might just be answered by Justin and featured on next week's episode of The Inside. Once again, I want to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you next Friday.